What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today we are reacting to our Goatman's Bridge experience and everything that we missed. How did we miss so much? I always do this. Tonight, we investigate the old Alton Bridge, also known as Goatman's Bridge. It's actually listed as one of the top five most demonic places in America. And they weren't lying! That was terrifying. We thought, yeah, this is gonna be a bridge out in the middle of nowhere, but it turned out to be horrifying. Especially after we learned what the Goatman actually looked like. We've even heard and researched that this place compares to the demonic activity of the Conjuring House, if that puts anything in perspective. Alice the Ghost Dog. Bam, bam. Maybe Alice will join too, you never know. Yes, Alice goes to several. That guy was the best character ever. What do you think Alice thinks on a daily basis? That dog is constantly petrified, I swear. We had an experience on Friday the 13th. Becky! One of our investigators caught a really cool shadow figure. She got scratched. I wanted to know. Why? You would say this is an evil spirit for sure. Hell yes. Becky Vickers, I swear out of every person we've ever interviewed, made this seem terrifying. Because it was. Oh my god. Have oh you, my god. Wait, whoa. Wait, oh my god. Wait, whoa, whoa. There's fucking people right there. That scared the hell out of me. There was a lot of people that night. One of the creepiest things of the entire night, not even really paranormal, there's this guy that drove up alone to the bridge, got out, and said he usually wraps a metal chain around his fist, goes underneath the bridge, and slaps the bridge trying to scare children. And we're like, why? He's like, I find it pretty fun. And then he waltzed into the forest alone without a flashlight. That might have been the goddamn goat man. <laughs> it could have been. Who knows? Also, I don't even think we want to bring up the cowboy. That's a story for another time. Poor club, bitch. Look closely for a man's face in the woods where the flashlight is. No way you caught a face. I seen the shadow figure earlier today. He's so calm about that. Oh my I, god. I don't see a face that could just be the light reflecting off of all the branches. But one thing that didn't really come across on camera was how close those footsteps were. Yes, you could kind of hear it on video, but there's so many bugs and everything. It actually sounded like a human standing right next to us. We thought there was someone there. Yeah! Selena's calling. Selena! When I saw her calling, I was like, oh, this is about to be good. never been this kind of sick before. I've thrown up 25 times. What if this was like an omen? That was an omen. She literally joked about it. I don't know if we went to detail on how intense it was, but she was like thinking she was about to die. It was, it was bad. Like really bad sickness. When I was on the plane, a stewardess like woke me up because I was screaming and I just, um, I had a very fucked up dream. What do you think that looked like? Everyone else is like peacefully sleeping on the plane. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Stuart is just like carrying shit like WHOA! The thing about the bridge was you guys were on a trail. Oh my god. And um there were these two trees on each side of the trail, a little bit away from each other, but they kind of like leaned into the trail. Don't go through that. Even if she was supposed to film this specific video with us, she didn't know anything about it. We didn't even know about the portal tree or the trails up until our interview with Becky Vickers. We couldn't even tell her about that stuff. I was thinking about that. I was like, if that's the portal, that ghost gotta be like, ooh wee Yeah, you gotta, gotta be a... Skinny ass ghost. Well, if they're oh, ghosts, they could probably just go through. <laughs> we were just at that tree we 10 minutes ago, tree. which means she must have had that thought to call us as we were there. I think that's the craziest thing. She had the dream while we were at the tree. I don't know if you're getting chased by something, but that's the whole dream. Is you guys are walking and you, you can tell that something's kind of not right behind you, but off to the side. like Off, off, to, off to the off side. To the side. Oh that's God. exactly and where I, we were. The last thing I see is and he's crying his eyes out and his dirt all over his face and his blood. The fact that she says that and then it happens. When she said all that about me crying dirt and blood, I was like, why me? What are the odds? Dave is just in the back. What do you think he was thinking? I don't know what the hell they're talking about, but the streets are not even those. He's over there in his own little world having a great time with Alice and we're like, ah! If anything else happens, let us know, please. Bye. Love Bye. You Love you. Why not say I love you? Love you <laughs> Shit. It might seem like I didn't mean to say that, but I really do love Selena. It was your subconscious. Yes! It was the demon inside of me. <laughs> the demon loves Selena. Oscar or the Washburn family, are you here with us? Do we ask if it's somebody else? Like Steve. Like Steve. You guys just said his name. Are you not supposed to say his name? I never got that. Like, Steve. Is Steve like saying Bloody Mary? Like it's gonna summon yeah. Steve? And it's not 
Steve. It's like Voldemort. You can't say his name or he'll kill said, you. You just said Voldemort. Yeah, but like Harry Potter's not real. Steve is. Steve is. Disease memory again. disease. Memory. Yeah. It's like they're trying to tell us something like think. Basically everybody got a disease, had to leave town, and that's why it's really interesting that Selena got so sick that she couldn't even come into this town. Do not ask open-ended questions. I'm now inviting any spirits or energies or entities, anything around here that can hear me right now. She said don't ask any open questions. I was like, is there anything, anybody, any spirit, any fucking living organism that can hear me? There is a reason why we have all these <laughs> demons attached to us. I just got a fat ass, like pain in my back. Barrel. <gasps> like right here. I legit felt like I used to do when my back was broken. It didn't feel like a scratch or a sharp pain, which is weird because in our Velisca X murder house video, Seth explains to us right at the beginning, when a demon attaches to you, it starts at your back and then goes throughout your body. Does that mean now you have a demon goat in your ass? No, we're not starting this. Uh, Isn't that red right there? That is red. Yo, oh, wait on the camera. You can yeah, see so much can. more. Look in the look in the it camera. Red. It doesn't look like a scratch. It doesn't look like you know your finger could do that. Look at the way you're all sitting. Oh my god, this is insane. This candle scene is one of the craziest things we've got captured. We set up the candles in a triangle, and earlier in the video, the obelisk says triangle. Yeah. And then unlock later on. Like we unlocked something. Honestly, yeah. There's a lot of. <laughs> I don't know what to add on that either. Is there someone here with us? Goatman has seven letters. Whoa! Dude, seven. Holy shit, there's been so many sevens. And I remember even way back from the Wilson Castle, Steve was telling us about a demonic sort of bad energy that refers to itself as seven. Maybe that number means something. I think it's a heavenly number. We gotta just keep our eye out for more sevens in the future and then we can just figure out what it means. No one you were under during the Holy Crescent? Yeah. What the fuck? First Whoa. fucking word. Whoa, wait, 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 do you see it? Yeah. Oh my god, dude! It what looks is like that? It looks like a skull with a long chinny chin. You want to talk to Colby? Do you recognize me? He needs to pray. What the fuck? You guys were saying that he needs to pray. <laughs> you guys are saying that he needs to pray correlates with the conjuring basement because you were there alone while we were doing our final prayer. So again, back to the idea that maybe these demonic energies are all connected. Two candles. So again, guys, originally in Selena's prophecy, it said two of you leave and one is kept alone. The two candles that are closest to Chris and Colby are the ones that blew out. One next to me is still lit. I didn't even realize that. Not saying prophecy was 100% correct, but in a metaphorical way, that correlates as well. And the fact that you're under, so you're technically not with us because you're a part of the spirit world. This is fucking terrifying. I'm, I'm scared for you. Again, what is- Oh, he even looks like a face right there! Do you see that? Oh! That looks like Oogie Boogie. What the fuck are these things that you're talking about? Chinny chin chin and the Oogie Woogie? What the fuck? So then who are you? I'm gonna keep asking until you tell us. You said demon, you but what's your name? I changed from- You already know I changed from could be Beezlebub who followed you from the Conjuring House. Connect the Conjuring House later. Estes method, you know me, might be- Beelzebub? Do you remember what Beelzebub means? Lord of the Flies. I think it's a prince. Uh, prince of the Flies? <laughs> prince of Hell or something. Prince of Hell. Oh my god. Again, like we're talking about, I changed from, you already know me. All these evil spirits could be connected. It could be the same thing that is traveling through portals. What's scarier than an attachment is a demonic attachment. You've been following us all night. We know it's for a reason. Her. What do you want from me? We foreshadowed that too, because right at the beginning of the video, we were saying, oh my God, it's gonna target Chris. Becky Vickers is saying, because you're a girl, it's gonna get after you. Everything was culminating towards Steve attacking girls. That is insane. He wants you. Life. You want life? And how are you forever. gonna get that? I don't like this. Have you noticed that a lot of these spirits just want to live forever? We hear that all the time in the Estes movie. I wonder if they need to gain energy from, you know, the regular world in order to still have a life here. I own it? What the fuck does that mean? Chris took the necklace earlier in the episode from this location and she said, after we talked to her, because we didn't realize, oh my god, she still had it, she took it home with her. That's like the biggest no-no. Maybe by taking the property, she brought 
a spirit with her away. And that is why the spirit was like, I want her. I want to live forever through her. I want to target her. Luckily, she said she got rid of it or like threw it away or something. But I've heard from other people that if you improperly dispose of some demonic object, then it could be even worse. That was the Gomez Bridge, but if this gets 50,000 likes, we're going to react to everything we missed in season two. Subscribe or you're going to have a demonic goat man in your butt.